Raw veganism is full of shit. Ketogenic diets full of shit. Carnivore diets full of shit. Vegetarianism is full of shit. Pescatarianism is full of shit. All diets are full of shit. You are full of shit. And most of all, I am full of shit. Let me explain. And I apologize if I have not offended anybody yet. But I mean, I did call you. I did say you're full of shit. So hopefully I, of I offended you too. Okay? But just remember, I am the speaker. Most of all, out of all these things that I just listed, right here is the biggest asshole. Right here is the one that is full of the biggest shit out of all this shit pile. Okay, let me explain to you my rationale. Why did I come up to this conclusion? Well, you see, your mind literally creates your reality. Uh, and you could be a little philosophical cutie about it and say it doesn't create it, it shifts into it because of the multiverse, because there is, you know, all universes exist at the same time. So you're really not creating your reality, but you're shifting into it. Okay. No, we've already gone past that. It, do it doesn't matter here. Okay. We're trying to go beyond a little bit beyond these little cutie philosophical bits and pieces. Okay. So let me explain. Your mind creates your reality. That is literally true. And so, if you truly believe that eating a diet rich in meats that will increase your testosterone and increase your zinc level and give you a boner every morning and increase your sex drive and make you stronger. If you really believe in it and you end up switching to another diet, but that belief system is lagging behind, you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel exhausted. And you know, when you start to eat meat again, you go and you report ex vegan started eating meat, feeling amazing, feeling wonderful. And it goes the other way around as well. Okay. If you have a belief system that eating raw foods, live foods with enzymes, you know, enzymes and light energy, electromagnetic energy and all that good stuff, right? If you believe in that and you start to eat it and your belief system is going along with the program and you're feeling great. And one day you go out with your friends and your old cravings kick back in and you treat yourself to some sushi or a piece of steak or a chicken breast. If you're still suffering from the bro syndrome, you know, the bro syndrome, you know, the bro diet, broccoli, chicken breast. Okay. If you're still suffering from that old habits, old cravings kick in from your bro days, then you might be inclined to eat a piece of chicken breast and then you report feeling like absolute shit after. Because again, you have a new belief system that says eating raw foods, raw, raw life foods is going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel lighter. You end up eating the foods, makes you feel great. You feel wonderful. And then you stray off the program. You eat some chicken and you're like, oh, I feel like shit. Whereas the other on, on the other spectrum on the polar opposite of it. You have somebody whose belief system is I need fats. I need the meat. I need, you know, all this stuff that's in the meat to build muscle. There's another belief system that you need protein and you need animal protein and all. And so if you believe in that and then you stray off that path, you try, you say, let me try a vegan diet. Let me try a raw food diet or whatever. And you try it and your old belief system that I need meats to build muscle, to have protein, etc., is still there. Omega-3 is all that stuff. Yeah, at some point you're going to start feeling like shit and you're going to go back. Now, I can hear lots of objections in the background. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I can say, but no, 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 no. Like, you know, you're ignoring reality here. You're ignoring facts. Like, no, of course. Like, of course, if you switch to raw 
raw foods, raw vegan foods, like fruits and vegetables and stuff, of course you're gonna feel better, you know? Of course, like, it makes sense, you know? There's more antioxidants in the foods, there is more, even science shows us, right? It tells us, you know, vegetables and fruits, they have more antioxidants, flavonoids, vitamins, minerals, you know? Of course, if you have a diet that consists primarily of fruits and vegetables, you're gonna feel better because that's, I mean, you know, that's not some mumbo jumbo hippy dippy bullshit. No, 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 science tells us. Okay, okay, now let me ask you a question. Have you ever shaken hands with a vitamin? Have you ever shaken hands? Have you ever hang around with a vitamin? Please, if you have hung around with a vitamin or a mineral, or, or even a, a monounsaturated fats. I've really been wanting to meet a monounsaturated fat. Okay, I've really, you know, I've always been intrigued. I've heard they, they have good company, you know, and I've always been intrigued. It has been my dream to meet a monounsaturated fat. Please, if you have met so, a monounsaturated fat, let me know. Okay, make my dream come true. Have you ever met a fat? Have you ever met a carbohydrate? Have you ever met a mineral? Have you ever met these things? Have you ever questioned what the hell? Who? What is this anyway? <laughs> these are all belief systems. Every single one of them. Science is a belief system. Religion is a belief system. Nutrition is a belief system. Okay, and you know what all these diet wars are? People operating under the umbrella of the same belief system. And by the way, I'm not judging these belief systems. There is no, there are no superior or inferior belief systems. They're just belief systems. BS, bullshit, full of shit. Okay, all of them, every single one of them. They're full of shit. So, all these diet wars... You see it on YouTube, ex-vegan uh, eating meat again. He, he's got like three boners and he, it's like he took five pills of Viagra. You know, you see it all around. Raw vegan turned raw. He's now, his skin cleared up and he's just beaming with light. You see it all the time. You see these wars happening, right? You see it. All of them, almost all of them are operating under the umbrella of modern nutrition. Okay, so then you have the raw vegans telling you, you know, if you eat spinach, you get vitamin K and you get vitamin this and you get vitamin that. And there's a lot of vitamin A in, in, in uh, cod liver oil if you are just did a carnivore and you're just eating purely meat-based diet, right? So you pointed out everybody's operating and trying to justify their belief system and why it's making them feel better. They're trying to justify it by using the modern nutrition belief system and all the little things that it broke down whatever these things are which again i have never met as any of them and again please a monounsaturated fat okay just one hug i think if i hugged a monounsaturated fat i think uh, i'd be good for like a year okay like i'd just be good so under the umbrella of the nutritional system, the modern nutritional system, all these people are fighting one another, never recognizing that they're under the magic spell of illusion. And this is an illusion. Well, well, tell me, tell me, have you seen a carbohydrate? Have you seen a fat? What, what, do you, what, what, what is that anyway? What, what is all that anyway? That somebody told you, somebody programmed it in you. Somebody gave you the program that you need fats uh, to, to, you need fats to produce testosterone. You need certain amounts of fat. You need cholesterol from eggs. Just a program. Another program. You need uh, to eat your spinach because of the, 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 you'll get these minerals and you'll get the folates and you'll get the flavonoids and antioxidants. Another system. You, so you're operating under the system, the umbrella of modern nutrition, and then you're fighting other people within the system trying to justify. So somebody who eats fish, will tell you, no, you need fish because you need your omega-3s. You need your EPA. You need your DHA. You need them. And, and you, so you look at a raw vegan and you say, no, 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 you need them. Look, look, you need them. Well, question that. Who told you that you need them in the first place? Question that. Question, what is an EPA? What is an e DHA? What's an omega-3? 
question the system in which it operates within. On the same token, a raw vegan would tell you would tell uh, a, a carnivore, somebody who eats only meat, you know, you're not getting your whatever insert vitamins that are usually lacking in a in a carnivore diet. Okay, and then both sides under the umbrella of modern nutrition, the program, the software, the application, again, every belief system is just that software and application are fighting one another and trying to justify and trying to meet the daily requirements. Everybody's like, you know, I've seen a video uh, of somebody who just turned carnivore and he's explaining to you how the, through the carnivore diet you can meet almost all your daily requirements. And everybody's going by the daily requirements, but nobody, I have not heard anybody question what the hell is a daily requirement and what are these minerals and what are these vitamins and hold on, hold on. Now we're also operating under the assumption that we have figured out everything that a human body needs. We're operating under the, the assumption that no, we figure it out. These are the vitamins you need and these are the minerals you need. We probably only know, like know 1% of it if we're going to ever actually come up with a list of comprehensive minerals and vitamins that the body needs. We just call them, we give them names, minerals and vitamins, right? Absurd, absurd and full of shit. Okay, so then what about this new idea that I'm coming up with lately that I've been talking about lately of being sustained energetically of solar, of the sun, through the practice of sun gazing and through the practice of pranayam and through the practices of meditation called Bradarian, Bradarianism, Bradarianism, okay? It's, a new, it's, sort, it's not a new movement at all. It's not a new movement. How do you think Jesus uh, held it down in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights? Because Jesus was a Bratharian, okay? All the great self-realized ones, they were connected to higher energy that would sustain them for infinity because it is infinite. So, how about this idea now? Because, uh, okay, okay, you're, you're, you're being all sarcastic in this video. Like, you're shitting on everyone. You're offending everyone. You're so cool, Saeed. You're, so, you're, you're really cool with your sarcasm. And you're really cool with your I-know-it-all attitude. What about you, huh? What about you? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you eating? Huh? Look at you, look at you. Okay, first of all, refer back to the beginning of the video. Somewhere before the mark minute... One, when I told you that I am indeed full of shit, okay? So, what, what is this then? This is a belief system. A be and I see it for what it is, a belief system. So now, I have left the indoctrination of the modern nutritional system, program, software, and now I'm being indoctrinated by another software, by another belief system. And this belief system says, sun gaze for a, two years, and you will be basically largely sustained off the solar energy. And meditate every day for two, three hours and you connect to cosmic energy and you will be sustained off that energy. And, uh, you know, ground your feet to the earth because your, t your big toe is your pineal gland and your, the next one is your pituitary gland and the third one is the hypothalamus and if you ground them with the earth, and uh, get that energy from the earth and you do that every day, walk around the earth, the dirt, the sand for, a, for an hour every day, then that'll charge you up energetically. And if you do all these things and you combine them and you do <laughs> pranayam and, and, and hyperventilating and you do these types of breathing and you do all of that, then you won't need to eat anymore. You will be largely sustained and you will only be eating when you choose to, like Jesus and all the great self-realized ones did. What the hell is that? That's another belief system, BS. That's another software. Now, you, so as long as you're having this dualistic experience, so as long as you're having this experience, you have a mind, a mind by default is a dualistic instrument that separates things and it's leading us to disaster with all this separating the, the enzyme, the, the, this is the enzyme this, molecule this, vitamin this, da 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 da, okay? And so as long as we're in a dualistic mind, we're always looking, we're always looking at myself in relationship to another thing that's dualistic. Where what, what is actually happening is there's a process and you're just part of the process and it's just a one process and life is just a happening. Okay, so then when you recognize that these are the tools you're given, this is the way it is, this is the human condition. You don't try to escape it. You say, let me work with it. 
So you work with the do listen. And so the way the mind works, it needs, it's like a computer. A computer needs a software or it won't turn on. When you turn on the computer, you hit the turn on and it loads up and it shows you, you know, the Mac logo or the Windows logo. That's a software in the computer. The, the mind is a computer also, okay? And it needs a software. And so for many people, all these nonsensical diet wars that are happening, they're all operating under the software of modern nutrition. Now, what if you could change the software to the one that I'm currently installing on, on this computer? You know, the one where you could be living off prana, being sustained energetically, and yes, and build muscle, and be just as healthy, probably a, a 10 times healthier because you ain't got to digest much anymore, right? Now, what, what you know, you might ask, well, why? Why am I giving up the pleasure of food? No, I, I like my old software. Well, if you like your old software, hang around there, okay? All I'm saying is there are many different ways to play the game. There are many different, different softwares. Some softwares are more flexible than others in terms of rules. Like with the, with the whole software living off prana, aren't too many rules. You could do it from the air, you could do it from the sun, you could do it purely through meditation. You could do it through grounding on the earth, you could combine all of these things, okay? So the rules are a, a little bit more flexible in that software, in that system. And the returns are greater for your health, okay? That, that's the result of that software, just like, you know, you had uh, Windows, the, what was the first one? Windows 95 or 98? 98, right? No, it wasn't the first one, but 98 is the one I remember, okay? Now, we have Windows 10. It's 10 times better than, than, win, than Windows 98. Like a bazillion times faster, more resilient, and greater capacity. Same thing. You have this old software, Modern Nutrition. It's cool, it's cool. It's like Windows 98, I mean, you need, you know, it's, it, it, the way life works evolves. Then you have this new super software, living off prana. Just another software, baby. Just, uh, just recognize it for what it is, full of shit. And, and it's my mind now that, that is going to get me to that point where I'm living off prana. Because I have, it, it is, I have to install a software now that, hey, if you sun gaze every day for two, two years, and if you do this and you ground yourself and, you know, if you meditate every day like uh, for three hours, then you'll be, uh, that's a software. But it works. It works. And it, it's working for many people right now. More and more people getting into this type of work and it's working for them. Okay? Now, just like updating from Windows 98 to, uh, you know, Windows 10, you're going to have some benefits with that, you know? And, and my, my teacher, my, my living off prana, Bradarian teacher, Eli Tom Elamin, which you can find him on YouTube, he's kind of starting to talk about immortality with Bradarianism. So there are a lot of major updates that happen when you update the softwares. But that doesn't make the software better, it doesn't make it worse. There is no good and there is no bad in this duality. There just is an experience. So if you're operating, if I have a, two computers here, I have the computer Windows 98 and I have the computer Windows 10, okay? And I'm operating on Windows 98. Now that's not bad, it's just an experience. So I'm gonna go uh, play Super Mario, right? And Pac-Man and do whatever Windows 98 can do without judgment on it. It's not good, it's not bad. And then, there's Windows 10, right? And I can do a lot more cool shit in there. I can download these videos and edit them with, you know, Sony Vegas and all of that. There's a lot of things that I could do here that I couldn't do on Windows 98. Not better, not worse, another experience, okay? So you follow what I'm saying here, you see why every, you really they're all just belief systems, BS. And all this diet war nonsense is just people playing within the nine, Windows 98, fighting one another about, I don't know, something, something. Who, who has the better, I don't know, who has the better updated version of 98, let's say. Okay? Because, you know, every, every, every Windows 10, for example, has updates within Windows 10. Then you, know, you got Windows 98... It's got its own update. So everybody, you know, the, the raw vegan is, is just a, an updated version of the carnivore. And they, they, they will preach it. They will say, look, our update of Windows 98 is better than the carnivore update. All still within operating within the same way, operating system, within the same program, the same software. 
okay? So, yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's where I'll finish off the video. I want to give many, many, many thanks, special thanks. I want to show my love, my gratitude, my appreciation to our lovely Patreons, okay? Mwah! This is one straight from the heart. This is one straight from the heart. Thank you, guys. I bow to you. I appreciate you uh, and appreciate your generosity. And uh, if you would like to join us on the Patreon family and support the growth of this loud-mouthed, arrogant, full-of-shit entity, human being, whatever, if you'd like to support us and if you'd like to help me do this full-time and then, you know, expand this community and if you just want to show your gratitude, show your appreciation through like $2 a month, you know, a cup of a cup of peppermint tea. I like peppermint tea. Some of you guys, for some reason, have been asking me what's your favorite tea. Peppermint tea. If you want to buy me a cup of peppermint tea every month, you could do so on Patreon. Okay? And then we'll also talk via Skype because I talk to all, all the Patreons like my family. Okay? And I'm, I'm bringing on somebody from Patreon on the podcast. Probably, actually, by the time I already uploaded it. We've already done the, done the podcast and I've already uploaded it, okay? So you're, you're like, literally, when I say my Patreon family, that's my family, okay? And uh, yeah, thank you guys. I love you. And until next time, may the force be with you.